For years, this GE plant in Louisville, Kentucky was shuttered, completely closed down. Not anymore. They're making water heaters and refrigerators. And just recently, GE posted 230 job openings here. 10,000 people applied in just six hours. I feel that I have at least, you know, 10 years to offer and I will be able to uh, retire with dignity, you know, as a, a blue collar worker. Uh, when the people see this, this product we're making here, this refrigerator and how good it is and the quality that's in it, we're going to skyrocket. Just a few years ago, GE's appliance business was on the table to be sold or spun off. Today, GE's investing $800 million in it here in Kentucky. Why? Rising labor costs in China and elsewhere abroad, along with union agreement to cut starting wages. Your union made concessions. You agreed to lower pay to, to get a job like this. Is it the right thing to do? Is it worth it? Oh, absolutely, because of the fact that that's what's great in having a union is that once that you start to manufacture and produce and make a quality product, then when the time comes around and GE receives the profits from our labors, then Jerry can go back to the table. We had to do what we had to do to get jobs in here. Or the jobs would go away? The jobs would, would, have, would have went away, yeah, I feel pretty confident of that. GE CEO Jeff Immel heads President Obama's Jobs Council and has come under pressure to hire more workers in America. We wouldn't do it if it didn't make business sense. Some would say, look, it's an image play. I've worked for GE for 23 years, and GE uh, is going to perform, and we're not going to just make products uh, for the sake of making products. We're going to make money. This is an example of creating manufacturing jobs in America, but keep in mind, the United States has lost more than 5 million manufacturing jobs since 2000. Well, we haven't hired a lot in the last decade. Our, our strategy was to go to design, source, and sell. Now we're saying we want to be manufacturers again. So what does it take to get a job here? We can teach a lot of the dexterity work and how to do your job. We're really looking for people who want to engage in the, the change we're making in manufacturing, which is embracing the mind of every operator and getting them involved in how to solve problems on the work floor and how to keep us here with continuous improvement. Are these jobs here to stay? Well, yeah, I mean, we're investing over a billion dollars in, in, in our factories and products here in this country. That, that's a huge commitment. That's part of the excitement here that we can produce in America. We used to be the leading producer in the world of everything. Uh, so I'd like to see us get back to that. Poppy Harlow, CNN Money, Louisville, Kentucky. Thank <laughs> you.